33% more power, 12% less cost, 5% more efficiency. Overall, 40% cost efficiency. There's a lot of amazing things you can do with 100 volt DC that 48 is just not as effective. We're prepared for the domestic content demands of installers, and we're also prepared on the, on the battery side for cash and loan to really hit a price point that people have never seen before. It is a premium 15-year uh, warranty backed by LG on the cells. The smarter way to go solar. Hey everyone, Joe Ordi here for Solar Surge. And today we're coming to you from RE Plus, which is the North America's largest solar conference here in Las Vegas. Now this afternoon, I'm joined again by James Showalter, CEO and founder of EG4 Electronics, and we're looking at the brand new EG4 Nova system. So James, always great seeing you. Great to see you, Joe. Thanks for taking time to talk with us. I know you've been, you've been briefing folks on the new product all day. So tell us, what is new with the new Nova high voltage solution? Well, um, the most important thing with uh, the system is that the uh, battery cells are going to be made in Michigan. Uh, and uh, we'll start getting them to our factory in uh, Q4 of this year. Uh, so it's an American-made cell. On the battery side, we have a domestic content, 16 kilowatt hour option, 16 kilowatt hour battery, uh, with the ability to put out about uh, 12 kilowatts uh, to each inverter. Uh, and it's a 100 volt architecture. So there's a technical change for this. And then the domestic content push we have next year. Next year we have about 1.3 gigawatt hours of uh, domestic content coming out of that Michigan factory in our partnership with LG. And uh, we're really positioning ourselves to be able to help our installers continue to be compliant uh, with uh, domestic content, FEOC requirements on the TPOs and the, uh, you know, the PPA offerings. Okay. You know, being able to navigate the whole solar policy landscape has been a real challenge. In fact, for those that don't know what, what you're talking about, TPO and domestic content and FIAC and all that, can you kind of walk us through at a, at a basic level? Um, first of all, for, for TPO or third party ownership, why is domestic content, why is domestic content important? And then can you kind of walk us through the basics of this, this FIAC or foreign entities of concern and, and why that's a, an issue now with, in the current environment? Well, from our perspective as a manufacturer and uh, not a tax lawyer where we are trying to do stuff uh, to, that really is going to work for people and their programs and the, and, and the law firms deciding, you know, TPOs and, uh, and the, those kind of processes, uh, you know, the domestic content uh, bonus credit is still available of an additional 10%, so 40% tax credit next year for domestic content uh, battery systems. And uniquely to us as a battery and hybrid inverter company, uh, that is going to continue on until 2032. So... It's actually a long running government commitment, even after the mess of uh, subsidy fight 25 that uh, came out in the clear. So, uh, you know, we wanted to position ourselves in line to get the 40% credit uh, involved with, with those groups and also the commercial applications that can get the paid this tax credit directly. And uh, the, the foreign entity of concern comes down to the core intellectual property uh, in the device. There's also a percentage content, like there's a maximum of 45% Chinese content next year, which a lot does most batteries that are coming out of Asia, even if they're like made in a third party country. Um, and then there's a IP question that's even more sophisticated because the intellectual property, 97% of the world's battery cells are made in China, Joe, and the intellectual property behind those cells is prohibited to leave China. It's what they call the MOFCOM list. So you really have to have a non-Chinese cell partner to build a battery product that's gonna be compliant with the domestic content tax credits. Now this is not for DIYers or cash and loan people. Uh, you know, they, they are gonna look at the, the dollars uh, per watt price and the, the domestic content product is gonna cost more, but the, the tax equity, the tax credit is gonna be worth way more than it costs. Uh, so, uh, that is the, 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 set, the new sector of the market we see breaking out, which is people who are focused on these, these tax equity realization vehicles and the commercial market. And then to try to comply, we're not trying to just barely comply with that. We want to just over comply and get the 40% tax credit uh, on the domestic content. And uh, it's just, it just for us, it was way too risky to try to do it with a Chinese battery cell that ultimately had IP that is restricted to China and can't leave the country.
Makes sense. Makes sense. Now, with with the rules changing and the and the and the individual residential tax credit going away at the end of this year, you know, I would expect to see that mo more people in the future that choose to finance the solar system are going to finance it with with a lease a lease product or a TPO product. And I guess that's where this you know the domestic content really comes into play. Well, so definitely this half of the ESS is focused on the domestic content problem, right? The top we actually the inverter the next generation flex boss that we're rolling out is meant to address uh, also the cash and loan market and DIY market, which we're really passionate about. Okay. And uh, what we did here, if you're familiar with our Flexbox 21, uh, was we increased the power output from the battery from 12,000 watts to 16,000 watts. Uh, with our battery bus voltage going up to 100 volts, we also uh, increased the round trip efficiency by 5%. And then finally, the other thing that we did was with the cost and the cost of the unit being manufactured in the U.S. and uh, the different slightly higher voltage architecture on the D.C. side, we're going to be able to drop the price another 12 percent. So overall, 33 percent more power, 12 percent less cost, 5 percent more efficiency. Overall, 40 percent cost efficiency uh, improvement for the inverter uh, as we go into next year. So the cool thing we're going to be doing, this is the beginning of our step into 100 volt battery solutions where we will have uh, FIOC batteries that are not FIOC compliant, that are best cost for the cash market in that Q1 time frame, right as people are starting to lose their 25D and, and try to adjust their business model. We'll have a 100 volt battery that pairs with the increased inverter value and the 100 volt battery should be also a significant cost improvement over the 48 volt that we've been building. Okay, so great. it's the beginning of that, but what we're really pushing at the show over here is walking through and helping Domestic content focused installers starts coming to us and discussing uh, how much allocation they're going to need next year on their TPO or PPA of choice. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, let, let, let's dig into the technical specs because I know the audience is going to want to know exactly what they get with the battery. So last time we looked at the FlexBoss 21, again, that was a, a 48 volt nominal yes. system, low voltage system. Now we're looking at 100 volts on the DC bus, yes. on the battery bus. Okay. Why, why 100 volts? Well. There were a lot of reasons. Um, some of what we're doing uh, that will be unpacked over the next year, uh, we think about container battery packs, which are the cheapest battery packs that there are or will ever be, because the container market burns through eight times the amount of batteries that residential does. I mean, this entire show, of the residential players are a rounding error to the battery supply chain, right? So um, we, we saw some opportunities to create some incredible products uh, if we stay on the same voltage base that the containers are built out of. Okay. Um, it also fit perfectly with the 159 amp hour LG JF2S cell that we're using, which we could put 32 in series and hit 100 volts okay. without trying to run it at 48. And we said, look, if we're going to get a premium cell that we can run up to this. Uh, BMSs are much easier to build higher voltage in a 100 volt range than ever before. And the 100 volt bus allows for uh, a lot of other Easter egg bolt-ons that we'll be working on, uh, like direct EV, DC EV charging. Uh, just things you can't do if you're trapped on a 48 volt architecture. Uh, and I remember the day when 20, we went from 24 to 48 in off-grid, and, and we really see all the component fundamentals, supply chain fundamentals, uh, that are going to help us deliver a much better value at a 100 volt system. I think we're going to end up stumbling into that direction. It, 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 that phase change was about 10 years ago for 48 volt. I think we're headed into the 100 volt phase change. Makes sense, makes sense, especially as we're seeing the trend towards more all in one solutions. Of course, the 48 volt was a standard uh, yeah. on, on which different manufacturers could interoperate, right? Yes. I remember back back in the days of off grid systems, we, we, we would do 48 volt battery banks using lead acid or AGM batteries. Yes. And then hook to a hybrid inverter like an EG4 or a Sherlock or a Schneider Electric back in yeah. the day. But now, if, if we're not going to need to mix and match batteries and inverters from different manufacturers, like the 48 volt standard really is. Uh, an impediment, like you said, also decreases the efficiency. Yeah, yeah, there's there's a lot of amazing things you can do with 100 volt DC, that 48 is just not as effective. And then we looked at that, well, wait, that, for, that 100 volt bus is a catalyst for us to make a more powerful, more cost effective, more efficient inverter. And, and it's an efficiency you're just never gonna hit with the 48 volt battery. The inherent voltage differential between 48 and 240 volt AC is a lot. Well, that differential is, you know, uh, cut almost in half with the 100 volt. 
Yeah, and of course another issue, you know, for installers out there is just the, the cost and the, yes. and the bulkiness of the, the 200 amp cable. So you're looking at basically yeah. four, four odd thin stranded copper cables to connect your battery to your inverter. Yeah, we'll do this with, uh, you know, double zero gauges. Okay. And so that's, uh, that's going to be really, really, you know, amazing as well for us. Uh, and, uh, the, and, and, you know, we, we, we think the 100 volt platform is a message to our installers and to, the, to our partners that, hey, we're going to improve the cost per watt value prop by uh, over 40% next year with the, with the uh, 100 volt flex boss made in our Texas factory. And uh, we're prepared for the domestic content demands of installers. And we're also prepared on the, on the battery side for cash and loan to really hit a price point that people have never seen before. Exciting. All right, so let's get back to the specs. So you said 16 kilowatts continuous output? AC, yes, sir. AC from the battery. Output, from the battery only? Yes, sir. OK, OK. And then, of course, it, does that bump up if there's solar present to support? It does, but we're not ready to announce how much yet. OK, but at least 16 kilowatts continuous yes. output. You can bank yes. on that. Now, this middle unit here, is this the BMS, or is this a conduit pass-through? It's a conduit pass-through, but there is a BMS access door. I suppose we should we should tear it open, but it's a it's a dummy unit. Okay. Okay. This will be we'll be making these batteries at our Commerce factory as well. In Texas. Yes, in Texas. We'll get the cells from Michigan, build the battery in Commerce, Texas, and then uh, we'll be sending them out to distribution. Now the unit, as depicted here, this whole bottom is going to be where the where the LG battery cells are. Yes. Yeah. And we're looking at what 16 kilowatt hours. Yeah, storage? 16 kilowatt hours on this particular one. Yes. Now what if? I've got a larger home. I want more than 16 kilowatt hour storage. Can I can I yes. connect more storage and keep the single inverter? Yeah, just like just like a DC expansion pack with our okay. 48 volts. You can do the exact same thing. They'll have the same quick connect bus bar, uh, you know, for, for for setting it up. It'll it'll be all you know. It'll be what people are used to. The the exciting thing as well is this is built on the exact same inverter that we have been putting out with our installers for years, which is uh, the Flex Boss series inverters and then the 18 kpv before so all of the you know the onboarding the support etc and and just the ongoing maturing of, of this uh solution we're not going to be having to re-onboard installers they're going to open the invert up it's going to work exactly like the 48 volt inverters worked in terms of configuration and setup just going to have a 100 volt battery with a quick connect Okay, so for those installers out there that are that are more familiar with, with what we would call the Power Pro system today, the Flex, yes. Flex Boss Inverter with the EG4 wall mount battery, um, how is that going to compare cost-wise? I don't know, you might, might be able to give us specific pricing, but how is this going to compare cost-wise with today's Power Pro system using Flex Boss and Power Pro battery? Yeah, I think that we're, we're going to have to charge about $100 a kilowatt hour more for the American content initially. Now, we expect that to go down over the first couple years, uh, over the next couple years, as, as the capacity ramps up with our manufacturing partners. Uh, but, you know, for the installers that are doing complete jobs and getting 40% tax credit on the whole job, it more than pays for itself. And it's good for and it's, it's definitely the thing we want to be helping, we want to be doing. We want to be matching products, matching American manufacturing to, uh, to, to, to uh, demand uh, that, that's driven by the government policy. So it's good for American manufacturing and it's good for the installers. Uh, but it's not a, a penny, it's not a penny pitching race uh, at that point. And, sure. and the other thing about it is that it is a premium 15-year uh, warranty backed by LG on the cells. Which you know is uh, you know they're a, they're a Western-based company that you know has uh, a strong history of uh, managing and and, and handling pro you know product liability the way Americans think that it will be handled. So we know there's a lot of warranties that can be put on a product by by Chinese companies. The the credibility of an 80 billion dollar Korean Korean company uh, conglomerate is is really good for a 15 year cell warranty on these units. Okay. Now, James, is this product going to be sold through distribution, or are you selling direct to installers? How, how can they get their hands on it? We're going to be selling through distribution. EG4 is very loyal to the channel. Uh, we've worked with uh, ABC and CED and Sonapar and Soligent. And if I, if I miss you, don't, don't get mad at me, but like 16 different distributors are on our website. Um, and uh, people have really started scaling up with us, uh, you know, with, with our 48-volt with our battery system this year. We, you know, our team's growing and, and the number of installers that are familiar with this uh, are out there. So for us, it was like, hey, let's, uh, let's just build on that platform and Im improve it by taking it up to that higher voltage level. Great. Well, James, is there anything else that the audience should know about the new Nova system or about uh, EG4's domestic manufacturing plans? 
if you've got a domestic manufacturing need for next year, you've got domestic content need for your finance vehicle of choice, let's put that, start talking to us now because there's a lot more demand chasing uh, the supply than there is supply. So dive in and then let's, let's uh, start working with us early uh, because domestic content, there's, there's not gonna be enough supply next year. That's the biggest problem. It's 97% of the world's cells are in China. So there's just gonna be some people that aren't gonna be able to get a hold of domestic content and have to just take a cash deal with no tax credits. Well folks, this has been an early look at the new Nova system from EG4. Uh, plan is to be fully domestic content compliant uh, and in, in partnership with LG battery cells here in the unit. Um, hey folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way as we have new product release announcements like this, uh, it'll come up on your recommended feed and you can stay up to date with everything. Well, James, thanks for spending some more time with us. Thank you, Joe. Always great having you on the channel. Uh, but folks, that pretty much does it for this video. Uh, thank you for spending some more time on Solar Surge. And as always, I'm Joe Wardia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.